Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! What we're doing here. <laughs> Should I say it? Bye-bye. Mm, Bye-bye. Yesterday 61 dot next gone. I mean, come on, seriously? Did you think it was still gonna be here? So sick. If you're keeping track, I am. That means Tuesdays and Wednesdays guitars are gone. Love that. It's Thumpin' Thursday. Usually you know how I feel about <laughs> Thumpin' Thursdays. I'm even stoked about Thumpin' Thursday. This bass is so rad. This is not a mint condition instrument. If you're looking for mint, this ain't for you. If you're looking for vibe. Yes. Oh, dude, for days. Check this out. It's Thumpin' <laughs> Thursday. Wait till you get a load of this. This is from 1965. His original Fender Jazz Bass, Lake Placid Blue matching headstock. What? Looks more like Lake Algae Green to me. But oh, I see the blue. That's Lake Placid Blue. Just bask in the swampy bitchiness that is this bass for a second before we get to it. Because it's pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Freaking cool, man. All right, so let's talk about it. I guess I'll address the elephant in the room. Mark, that base is green, not blue. It's Lake Placid Blue. We've been over this before. Most of the time when we're talking about Pelham Blue stuff on Gibson. Lake Placid Blue would kind of be like the Fender equivalent. A metallic, a little bit of a flake in it blue. Like we always say, it gets shot with some of that clear lacquer over top of it. And then that lacquer starts to tint and get a yellowish tinge to it. And we all know that yellow and blue make green. Now what's rad? This little spot right here. You see that? That's where the guy rested his arm. That's where he literally wore through that coat of clear coat so, so it didn't tint. That's the original blue color right there. And then there's the undercoat color. Look at this. Normally I'm not a fan of a broken pick guard Look at how bitching this is. Look, the tip of the pit guard broke off. Look at that. You can see the unfaded blue. original blue color that the base was before it hit UV light and turned this. You know, when I first saw it in the case when it came out, I was like, oh, dude, a Sherwood Green Jazz Base. But no, it is it is Lake Placid Blue, kids. Which just makes it oh so much more radder that look at that patina. My God. The custom shop cannot replicate that. It's pretty amazing. Um, headstock as well. I mean, look at the actual tuners. You can just see, you can see, they almost look like they were gold parts at one point, like how all that nickel has tarnished away. You can see how dark the finish, the lacquer on the back of the neck is almost like orange now, except for where it got played off. Man, this thing has seen some uh some miles and seen some <laughs> something swampy but man is it vibey so jazz bases um this would be kind of like version two of the jazz bass the one that they when they feel like they finally got it right this is kind of the way they stuck with so the original ones would be the the stack knobs as we call them or with the two concentric knobs here where there's the volume for each pickup and then the tone for each pickup on top. Second generation, which you start seeing in around 61, is going to be the three knob setup, which is going to be volumes for each of the pickups and then like a master tone uh, for the entire bass. And that's, like I said, kind of the way that they um, stayed the rest of the way with the jazz basses. This one's still L-series, so we got pre-CBS. Um, it is a 65, so you'll see we've gone to the pearl dots and the three-ply white pit guard, um, as well as the transition logo. However, uh, it's still a pre-CBS number, uh, and uh, you know, no binding on the neck, which is always nice to see, and of course, no F on the neck plate. Custom colors, as we've talked about, you know, were something that you could order through your dealer. It was usually a five or ten percent upcharge, something like that. You know, sunburst would be the standard color on this. Uh, and any given year, uh, Fender offered a color sheet of different finishes that they would offer. Lake Placid Blue being one of the more common colors that you'd see, uh, which would be the metallic version of the blue. There's also like a Daphne Blue and a Sonic Blue. Pretty much every color, there's usually a metallic, 
a flat and a pastel. So the reds you have candy apple red is the metallic, Dakota red is the flat, Fiesta red is the pastel. And you have Sherwood green metallic, you'd have seafoam green is the flat, and you'd have surf green is the pastel. You follow? You dig? Yeah. Okay. But man, that this is like I said, it's not mint, but man, this is like this is the cool stuff, guys. This is the stuff where you look at it and you can just tell the stories and the stages that this thing must have seen. And it sounds, the, you know, the same to, to prove. Now, now, in terms of, you know, obviously finish is original on this. Both of the pots uh, were changed. The volume pots. The tone pot is still original, but both volume pots got switched out. I'm assuming, we, you know, if you see that much weathering on it, yeah, maybe it's possible that the pots just flat out needed to be replaced. So it's got changed pots in it. Definitely is not affecting the tone of this thing. It's monstrous. Why don't we go out to the couch? We'll plug this guy in, take a listen to what it can do. So sick. Let's go do it. All right, we're out front. We have the 1965 Fender Jazz Bass, Lake Algae Green, creature from the black freaking lagoon here. Um, original Lake Placid blue finish, matching headstock, unbound neck. We're going through Fender Rumble 200 today. All the EQs are at noon, and everything is reverberating in the room. Let's start uh, with the front pickup uh, all by itself here. Let's see what we can see what we can do with that here. Turn that one off. Let's go back to the uh, back pickup all by itself. Let's see what we got going on there. Pickups wide open. Let's see what this thing sounds like full range here. Creature from the freaking swamp over here from 1965. Original Fender Jazz Bass. Originally that color, Lake Placid Blue, has faded to this color, Pond Algae Green. Oh, unbound neck, matching uh, headstock, two change pots on the volumes, otherwise original. Just vibe for days, man. We're two for two this week. I think it might be three for three. If you guys are interested, you know where to find me. Find me, follow me on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And make sure you guys come back 
tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Major flat top Friday tomorrow. It's going to be huge. We'll see you guys back. Peace. Bye. Stupid.